Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'd like to bring you my review of a movie I just watched called Deep Red. This one was provided to me for review by Arrow Video. If you get a chance to check it out, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll include more information including the links first one description. So this one I believe was from 1975 and this is an Italian movie. Now it comes with two versions. It comes with the original version and the export version. Now for some reason the export version I believe is the shorter version. Um, I watched the original version um, and I believe that one has a 127 minute runtime because it was about two hours long so it had to be that one. Uh, it has Italian language track and it has what they call uh, Italian English hybrid track. Don't ask me what that means or why it even exists, but I would say the movie was like 50% Italian, 50% English, and it almost seemed like maybe um, they had hired people to dub it, but they only got halfway through and they're like, ah, let's forget it. I'm not, I'm not sure if there's like a, a reasonable explanation of why this exists, but it was nice to have at least half the movie in English and then the half, other half I just had to, you know, read the subtitles on. Although it, it is a little jarring that it kind of goes back and forth and you're like, oh wait, now they're not speaking English. <laughs> so um, yeah, but I, I definitely did appreciate um, at least some English track on there. Now this movie to me looked really good. I was very impressed. Uh, the colors, they looked great. Uh, very clear quality for a film from the 70s. And overall, I thought the video quality was really good. Uh, not quite on par with today's 4K. Um, definitely there were areas where I noticed a little bit of blurriness in, in the backgrounds. And um, it seemed like there was some motion blur in the movie. And there were maybe 2% of the scenes uh, where it just it just didn't look as good, you know, it's definitely uh, a lower quality, but like I said, definitely over 90% of the movie is a good crisp picture. Now for the movie, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. It is a movie about this man who's a pianist and he's hanging out outside a bar with his friend and he witnesses a murder. And like all people, he runs up there into the apartment building where the murder is taking place, uh, but he's too late and uh, he finds the dead woman and he sees a, a person walking away from the apartment building. Now the cops come and you know he says, you know, I don't know who did it. I saw a person walking away. I can't say that was the person. And like all good outstanding Italian citizens, he decides to forget the police and investigate the murder on his own, which to me just seems so weird. Just this random musician, he's gonna go investigate the murder. So he's kind of following the clues and, and trying to figure out who did it. And honestly, that's pretty much the whole rest of the movie is him trying to figure out who did it. Uh, there were some really slow parts and somehow the killer does get wise to him and tries to kill him and kill some of the people around him. So there are a few more murders in the film. But for the most part, it's just this guy kind of playing detective. I thought the story was interesting, although it did have some really slow moments. And I almost kind of felt like they're going in like a supernatural direction, but maybe that was just me. Uh, it didn't end up going that way. Um, and I did, I did kind of like, <laughs> and they had kind of almost like this false ending. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. And then the guy's like, that doesn't make any sense. And then they have the real ending. And I liked the ending. I thought it was pretty cool. I definitely enjoyed that. I definitely enjoyed the way they ended it. So overall, guys, I did enjoy this movie. I gave it a three out of five. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, to the says videos, and I'll see you guys next time.